Hello guys, KP Shamino here with a new video for No Rest for the Wicked. And in this video I'm going to show you guys two tips that I want to give for people that play like me with keyboard and mouse. Uh, so it's not really friendly this game for uh, this kind of users, but I'm going to give you guys a couple of tips. So first of all, what you need to do is you need to go to settings. And then you need to go here to controls and here you can already see some things that I didn't know. So first of all, Alt, hold, walk to the cursor. That's a very big one. It's going to save you a lot of falls in the depth and depths if you use that. So on very narrow uh, platforms, you can use this. It's going to be a lot easier than moving with the keyboard. Another thing is shift. So shift is not only sprint, but if you can jump, you are going to jump to the mouse cursor. I will give you a couple of examples how you need to do it. So we are now at the moment in the quarry and in the quarry you need to do that stuff a lot. So you guys can see here, here is already one problem. So you can just try to jump like this and shift, but that's not easy with the keyboard. So what I always do is if I do very difficult jumps, I just do this. Go to the edge, put your cursor here, push shift. You will always jump on it and there is no problem. So you can do it here too. So let's have a look. Here once again. So here you got a little bit of room, but you can do this too. Oh, I'm going to pick this up. So just cursor again, you do shift and you will be okay. Because most of the time, the most people, they do this. You just go around with shift and this is happening. So you miss it because if you don't use shift, you are not jumping. So I can show you guys that really quick. Uh, so I'm going up. Uh, yeah, I need to go to here. I need to get back up. So like this. So if you don't push shift, you cannot jump. I will show you guys it. But the problem is that shift is sprint too. And that's a very big problem. So that was the first thing. So very simple. You do this, you shift and you this. Of course, if you, if you are a professional and you can do it really quick, you can just sprint and jump and all that stuff. But it's just to say to people because sometimes it's not easy. Then the next part. How can you... Oh, my uh, my inventory is full. If you need to go over planks, and that's happening a lot, so here is a very good example too. So here is something that is not easy. And here is the alt, walk to the, the position of the cursor, very good. So you just keep pushing alt, and he's always running to the cursor. And that's really good. So I can just put it here. Do you guys see it? How simple it is? So it's 10 times simpler because with the cursor you can go to a perfect inch position. And your avatar is always going to run on that. So therefore it's good. So let's try it again. So this is not simple. So let's go back with alt. And here I'm going to jump. So here we are going to jump. This is on the edge. Shift again. Here we go. Yeah, I missed it now a little bit because I was not on the right position. But let's do it again. Because I want to show you guys a couple of other things too. I'm going to stand a little bit further. Let's do it again. Here we go. This is a very tricky position. So... Here. So if you want to jump to the platforms, now you can of course, what most people probably going to do, push shift and try to jump uh, if you're moving, but that's not what we are going to do. We are going to do the cursors again, put the cursor here, shift, easy, shift, easy, little bit to the middle, cursor in the middle again, here we go, cursor here. Yeah, that was not so good. But that's what you need to do, guys. So it makes life a lot easier. Just alt, just with the cursor and shift. If you can jump, it's a lot easier than with going in sprint everywhere. And just jump on everywhere. Because you're going to fall a lot of times in this game. Take it from me. So that was for the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Have fun. Bye-bye.